Ladies and gents, hobos and tramps, cockeye mosquitoes and bow-legged ants, I'm Dinky Doo here with Susie Q. We welcome you to another episode of Quiz Stream. This episode's theme is animals. If you're watching live, the questions are going to start in just a second. If you're watching the replay and you're new to the channel, we do live streams like this, quiz shows every day. So subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm going to put five minutes on the board and we are going to get started right away with this question. If your neighbor's peacock flies into your yard and lays an egg, who does the peacock belong, or sorry, who does the egg belong to? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Good question. Who knows the answer? I want it. It's a tough one. You, says McShave. Me, says Monster Trucks are people too. The peacock, says the committee. Who's gonna get it? <laughs> Me from the eternal student. Peahen from Megan Maybe. Good job, Megan Maybe. It was a trick question because peahens lay eggs, not peacocks. Ha ha, I got you all. What I am. <laughs> Next question. A panda's daily diet consists of almost entirely of what plant? I got him good, didn't I? I got them good, except for Megan. Awesome. Megan, maybe she got it. <laughs> and you got a point, Megan. <laughs> good job. Oh, we did a good point. For All right, we've already got, huh? Yeah, she's getting a point. She got it. It was a trick question. She still got it. And who got the answer first with bamboo from Eternal, Eternal Student? Student? Good job, Eternal Student. No surprise there. Always lighting up the score. Alligators are indigenous to which two countries? The two powerhouses of the world. Yeah, what? Not so much. Well, one of them makes like really good knockoff products. Cheap. Alligator. Why did McShave say what? Hmm? We don't. I don't know. Close. Close. One is correct. And it is, everyone keeps saying America and Mexico. What we got is, <laughs> oh, wait, where is it? <laughs> USA and China. Poland, that's a good one. Poland, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> the wombat is native to which country? Wombats. That just sounds like a fun name, doesn't it? Yeah, they're cool looking. What is that? Is that what Johnny, or what's his name? Sorry. Wom no, Wombat, Wombat, Breezy, Breezy. Oh, well, we got answers coming in. Oh. Eternal Student. Eternal yeah. Student with Australia. Good job getting a point. Australia it was. What is the name for a male bee that comes from an unfertilized egg? Also something that people, should I give a hint? No, not in the green face. And, okay, mm -hmm. if, if, but if, if it's almost time and no one's got it, I'm giving a hint. It's a good hint. I got a great hint like, oh man, so many people already know the answer. Right. Do woo hoo Follow Crispy by Megan maybe and McShave too. And the, oh, no worker bee, no committee. It's not worker bee. It is drone. Good job. Eternal, is who got the first? Me, me, Huh? Do, do. Do, woohoo! Got, got that point. Good job. Cynophobia is the fear of what kind of animal? Hmm. I do not understand that. I suffered from this when I was younger. I got I bit. Get it. Listen, true story. I got, I got bit in the butt by a chihuahua when I was a little kid. Oh. You're a retard. Man it. <laughs> Scratch that. Forget that. I'll tell this after. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Mol <laughs> Molson. Uh, Eternal <laughs> student's got it right. Eternal student. Good job with dogs. dogs. How did you know? Anyway, that chihuahua left a scar on my butt and in my heart. How did it get up to your butt? I was little. 
and I was running away because it was a terrifying little dog. Anyway, moving on. What type of animal is a flamboyance? That just sounds cool. A flamboyant. No? I would guess that because it sounds like the first half of it. Mm -hmm. A monkey from Dolph. Woo -hoo, didn't hit the mark. But Megan. Megan maybe did with Flamingo. Good job to you. You are getting the point. And that is the last question of the green phase. Moving into the blue phase. I'm going to put us five minutes on the board here as well. And we are going to get our first question on the board. Good job with flamingos. What is a group of whales called? I like how they all got different names. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to list any examples because some other ones might come. Just in case you wanted to open up a Wikipedia page of what different types of animals are on your spare cell phone. McShave. McShave with a pod. Good like job, McShave. Ain't seen you in a while. Welcome back. What is the national anthem, or sorry, what is the national animal of Scotland? And I didn't believe this, so I had to Google it myself. Really? <laughs> yeah. Very good one. I wonder why. Do you know why? Why? What? Why is it the national animal? It's I don't know. Like... I mean, because they have a good sense of humor, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And McShave is wasting no time with Unicorn, Unicorn followed closely by... Who, who, who got it next? Oh, no one else. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that so quickly. Whoever oh, writes uniform Scottish. first. Huh? McShave is Scottish. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe so. Um, if anybody else gets it, they're getting a point. Because the first two people this round, I forgot to mention that again, like every other time. Megan maybe also gets a point with Unicorn. Good job to the two of you. What is the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? I think this is a pretty easy one if you think about amphibious mm -hmm. vehicles, you know, mm -hmm. what they can do, what yeah. makes them amphibious. Mm -hmm. Gills, the committee, no, <laughs> not gills. Living in water, close, and outside. Uh, land and water base. That is the most correct answer so far, and it's absolutely correct. But should we say eternal student is correct because on water and outside? I mean, that's basically yeah. the answer, just in different words. Okay. So eternal student and monster trucks are people too. Are going to take that one home because amphibians can live in water and on land. Good job to the two of you. What is the sleepiest animal in the world sleeping around 22 hours a day? Boy, I thought I was lazy. You thought I was lazy. That ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> My little naps on the on the lazy boy are nothing compared See, to that. I personally thought it's I would have the answer. I would have gone with that too. But sloths may be slow, but that is not the answer to this. So anyone else someone came close with panda peewee is here peewee you kept you're close but this is the wrong bear is anybody gonna get that one looks like not i'm gonna give a second for a lagger or two australia think of australia and three eternal student got it without koala good job Aurelophobia is the fear of what kind of animal? Now, what, what is McShave saying here? Or Dolphu, amphibian reptiles live on land and the difference is water. Uh, correct. Dolphu, that, that's what the answer we gave. They, one lives on land and water. Amphibians do both. Reptiles only do one. That was, that was the point. Or maybe he's lagging. Is that what it is? He's like he's answering that question back then? One of the two. Aurelophobia is a... Megan maybe with cat. Megan maybe with cat. Did I ever start the timer? I don't know, but Megan maybe is getting that point. And the committee. Good job to the two of you. Cats it was. 
Which animal has the most legs? Hmm. It's a good one. Ah. No, sea turtles also live in water. Then I guess it would be considered an amphibian then. I mean, frogs are amphibians. I'm not an amphibian expert, but that's the, the definition here, people. <laughs> the woohoo! And McShave with millipede. Good job. It's like a centipede, but with more legs. Oh. <laughs> a millipede. What is a group of owls called? I'm going to have to break out uh, Owl a game. definition of no turtles are reptiles. Oh, geez, eternal student's going to kill me here. All right, if it's, I, I'm going to bring some, some documentation tomorrow, okay? About this. Is that what I have to do, I guess? I don't have, I'm, I'm doing a show here. I don't got Google right from me, but I, I did read this. <laughs> we did look it up. Yeah, let's move on. We'll move on. <laughs> and that is the one, last question of this phase. One question. Two. two. Mick Shane and Megan maybe are getting the last points of this phase, and we're moving into the laser phase. The answer was Parliament, by the way. And the answer is Parliament. Good job. And I'm putting five minutes on the board. This is the last phase of the show. Here we go with what is the fastest land animal? They're going to roll in on this one, I'm sure. Maybe we should put that one in the green phase. Everybody's going to get this. Mm -hmm. But who's got the fastest internet and the quickest thumbs? The most trained up thumbs. Who's been training? Who's been doing their thumb stretches? Leo. The woohoo! And Megan Maybe. And? And the committee. Good job. All three of you get a point in this phase. First three correct answers. It is a cheetah. And next question. Which bird has the longest wingspan at around 11 feet? And a cool name, I must say. I love those birds. They're very cool. Cheetah, I'm bad at spelling. Where, where is, where are we at? The hoo -hoo. Or no, no, that's McShave. Oh, but he, he followed that straight up with the correct answer. Here we go. <laughs> McShave. McShave, Megan, maybe, and anyone else? Any takers? No. Woohoo! With Albatross. Good job to the three of you. You are all getting the point. Next question. Okay. <laughs> what is the fear of birds called? They got a name for everything, huh? Yeah. Is there a book of fears? Probably. Where they say that? I'm sure there's a fear to be in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, but you're conquering that fear every day. Mm -hmm. You are my hero for conquering your fear of cameras. Chicken. <laughs> fear of bird. If you're a fear, you have a fear of birds. You're a chicken. KFC. <laughs> Vulture. Oh no, that was for the last one. Good, good guess, Pee Wee. Didn't hit the mark. Mick Shave already got this answer. Stephen King's birds, I believe that. Mm -hmm. And it looks like McShave is the only one getting a point here with ornitho ornithobia. Or ornithobia. Good job, McShave. Tigers are the most endemic to which country? Endemic means like indigenous. Okay. I know because I Googled it because I didn't know what it meant. But now I do. You learn something every day on Quiz Stream. McShave, Dolph, woohoo, and anybody else gonna get that? Megan, maybe with India. Good job to three of you. You're all getting a point. India. What is the name of the Black Panther in The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling? The jungle. Oh, there's a movie Jungle Book. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, like Disney. No, no, no. A new, like a newer one. Yeah, is that Disney out yet? I mean, better. I saw a preview for it. Is that coming out this year? Or is it out already? I don't, know. I don't know, but it had that snake in the preview. What? 
that look really cool? We already got a couple correct answers. Let me see, do we have three? Megan, maybe Eternal Student and Mick Shave with Bugger. Good job, Bugger. What class of animals are penguins? Ooh, it might be a trick question. It might be the obvious answer. You're gonna have to type it in and find out. <laughs> didn't didn't fool McShave. <laughs> Ooh, and it's so creepy. Are we talking about the same thing here? Eternal student, that, that snake on that preview? I believe you. Yeah, we got answers already coming in. Dolph, woohoo! Pee Wee finally got in there with his slow internet and the committee. Good job to the three of you. That lagging internet's not going to stop him. Birds it was. What class of animal is the platypus? The duckbill platypus, if you want to call him by his name, Mr. Duckbill Platypus. Ducks are my favorite animals. This one is not the same classification as a duck. I'm not giving any hints. I'm just saying. Not the same kind of animal. And a few people definitely know that. Yes, Eternal Student, the Jungle Book thing is creepy, and I can't wait to see. Did you? Is the movie out? Did you see the whole thing? I shouldn't sidetrack. Huh? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Don't hoo hoo, Megan, maybe, and Eternal Student with Mammal. Marsupial was a good guess, but it doesn't have a pouch, I believe. What is the most northern living non-human primate? I wrote this question. I'm proud of it. Right. Mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> yes, it's out. I've got it on DVD. Let's talk to Eternal Student later so I can borrow that. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll catch it on uh, Netflix when it comes out. <laughs> Nope, chimpanzee is not the correct answer, but you are in the ballpark because it is a primate. And this is the last question, by the way, which is great because it's the last question I have. Bonobo, nope, somebody got it. I'm not telling who yet. I'm going to give them another second. In five, four, three, two, one. Megan, maybe, with macaque. Good job. They got those little pools. You know, there's, the, there's these hot baths. In and Japan. In Japan. Mm -hmm. And they got these hot baths and there's snow everywhere. They're on that awesome like BBC documentary. Mm -hmm. Word. Anyways, these points are going to be added up for the rest of the week. And whoever has the most points at the end of the week will be the quiz Dream winner. So try to play every day if you can. Thank you all for playing. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.